Hey guys, it's Marty from Nintendo Dads here back with another product review of Nintendo Switch accessories. Today we're going to be taking, taking a look at the brand new Nyko Dooleys. These are Joy-Con alternatives that Nyko has sent us over. And we're also going to be looking at the Nyko Wireless Core Controller, uh, which is a Pro Controller alternative that Nyko has sent over as well. These are the most interesting, so we're going to start with them. Uh, these are Joy-Con alternatives. As you'll notice here, there is no way to dock these, but they are of a size that it looks like um, a Joy-Con and a rail attached together. Uh, and uh, improve, the, the back of the box talks about improves er, improved ergonomics and comfort, motion control and rumble, USB to type C charger and detachable thumb caps that come with this. So you're gonna have to charge each and every one of these <clears throat> individually and you'll have to forgive me because it's winter time here in the south which means it's 65 degrees one day it's 35 degrees the next day and it's playing havoc with my allergies so here are the thumb caps that you get they're uh, little rubberized grips they have a little pad on top of those you can use uh, these size or you can use the thicker size which are a little more rigid so have the same type of grip on top. But we're not really interested in these. Let's look at the actual Joy-Con themselves. They are bow tie shaped. And so as we look at these, they have an interesting little ridge here on the back. I'm sure that's probably where some of the Joy-Con, um, you know, innards are like the rumble and the, the other stuff. Uh, you know, holding it in the hand, it's actually not bad. Uh, it's a little better than I thought it would be. Odd enough, though, there are ZR and ZL buttons here and ZR and ZL button or SR and SL buttons here. Um, they're a little more pronounced than the regular Joy-Con, and so it makes them feel a little bit different. I do like the fact that the sticks do have a, uh, I believe the word I'm looking here is concave uh, little feature to them so that means that your thumb fits in there a little bit better the buttons are triangular uh, which means that uh, to me they just they look a little weird they feel a little weird but if you'll notice here's something I've noticed how close in design and how closely these sticks and buttons are to each other even though they're left and right joy cons uh, so this, I believe, makes them a little more ergonomically, um, I guess, secure or better than Nintendo's own offerings. And this little ridge here in the back actually gives you a great place to set your fingers if you're not using the SL and SR buttons. Uh, and so in just a minute, what we're going to do after we look at the core controller is we're going to connect these to the Nintendo Switch and see how they work. Uh, at the bottom is a USB-C port where you can plug in the included um, cord, and these will charge independently uh, of the switch. And I guess that's the only negative that I can see right now is you can't actually dock these. You can't actually click them in and, and automatically control them. But, you know, even if, we're, if I was going to play the arms with these, man, they feel great. Uh, I hope they control great. So let's take a look at the core controller as well. We got the purple color. I'm, I'm not sure there's any other colors actually, but it is this uh, translucent, uh, maybe kind of atomic purple for you Nintendo 64 fans. Uh, <clears throat> and so let's just take a look at it, pull it out of the package. Uh, there's a quick start guide that comes with this that tells you how to connect the controller to the console. It also comes with its own USB-C to USB-A charger and, and a pretty thick instruction book, uh, mainly just legal warnings and all kinds of things like that. But let's, let's look at the actual controller. Getting started, please check nico.com to check for controller updates. So this is a controller you're actually going to have to connect to your PC or Mac and update, but holding it it feels fine. It does have the same kind of concave stick, uh, you know, that the Dooleys have, so feels a little bit better. To me, 
the the Joy-Con sticks that we got and the Joy-Con or the sticks on the Pro Controller, uh, they have that raised, that convex uh, area where you put your thumb, and to me, it just doesn't grip as good. This feels like a um, an Xbox 360 controller. In fact, it's very, very similar to an Xbox 360 controller. You've got all the necessary buttons, uh, plus and minus home. But here is the big, I, I guess, attraction for this is the turbo button. And with the turbo button, you can press this down and then press another button, and it locks that button on the turbo. So for shooting or punching or whatever you want to do with it, I guess that you can set a turbo feature with this. Uh, taking a look on the back of the box, we want to look at some of the features. Bluetooth wireless, turbo function, and rechargeable battery. So this does not have haptics, uh, so no rumble. It does not have amiibo functionality. It does not have gyro. And so to me, uh, this already kind of makes this controller a little bit less of a contender for your money than the Power A enhanced controllers, which do have motion, uh, even though they don't have rumble and they don't have uh, amiibo functionality either. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go over and we're going to plug these up or we're going to get these working uh, on the Nintendo Switch. And we'll see you in just a minute with the next part of this video. All right, guys, here what we're going to do is we're going to sync the one of the Nyko Dooleys to the console itself. And what we do to do that is we go to the controller sync or change grip option on the controller screen. And there's a sync button right here on top of the controller. We're going to hold that down until these lights begin to flash quickly. And we should see it pop up here. It says paired. Now we're going to hit L and R. And we already have synced the Dually controller to the Switch. And I figured what better way to test out the responsiveness of one of these? Play a little Smash. It's the game to play right now, right? And so we'll boot up Smash. We'll head right in here. And uh, in just a couple of seconds, we will show you uh, how these work again. They, the, this bow tie design that they have made for these really does make it feel uh, a little more substantial and a little more solid in your hands than Nintendo's offering, uh, as well as the, the placement of the stick and the buttons. But uh, let's just take a look. We'll, we'll go in here. There is rumble. I can't confirm that. So we'll just go into a smash right here. A little quick little match. Why don't we won't even play all of this five-stop match. We'll just do random here and let's see let's be you know what let's be Mario random opponent here we go who are we going to get Mario versus Bowser perfect on Super Mario 3D Land nice and as you can see we are playing with the uh the Nyko Dually Joy-Con here, and it is very responsive. Uh, this is, so far, so good. Really like it. Again, I'm really liking that convex stick. Very responsive. Easy to handle all the moves. So far, there's no input lag. Well, see you, Bowser. The only thing I don't like about this controller is if you're playing, can't taunt. And I'm just not used to playing on a Joy-Con at all. I've been doing most of my playing since the game came out on the wireless GameCube controller, so... This is a little bit weird for me. Make sure these. What I was testing there was I wanted to make sure that the shoulder buttons worked since we hadn't really seen those yet and those are working perfectly as well. And so I would say that, you know, as an alternative to a Joy-Con, this is a pretty good controller. Uh, we will put the price in the links for this. But what I want to do right now is I want to go back to home 
and I want to sink the um, I want to sink the other controller. I want to try the core controller and see how it works as well. And so we're going to look around here. I don't see a sync button for that, though I do believe that you sync it the same way that you would sync the Pro Controller in the beginning, which is by plugging in uh, the controller here. It has lit up, it's paired, and so let's see, it's connected via USB, as you can see. And so let's just go back, uh, let's go back to Smash and let's see how it works. Oh yeah, it feels great. Feels responsive. As you can see, the pairing was extremely easy. Get Bowser out of here. And I now have you know the full stick capabilities of a dual stick controller, which means I'm able to grab, I'm able to do you know dodging. Oh, yeah, get out of here, Bowser. <coughs> Perfect. And so this controller feels really good, but again, no rumble, no no gyroscope, no, no amiibo functionality. Uh, and again, so that puts it just a little bit less than the Power A controller. But overall, I would say that this is a good controller as well. So if you're in the market for some third-party accessories, don't want to pay first-party prices, now we have some other options. We have the Nyko Dooley's. With their ergonomic bow tie design, we have the Nyko wireless core controller as well in this nice atomic purple look. And so, guys, we want to thank you for checking out all the videos over here on Nintendo Dads. Keep coming back weekly, daily for new videos, and we hope you'll listen to our podcast every Friday as well. Have a good one. Bye-bye.